Okay, let's talk about perpendicular lines. So you can see here, we have two lines that are perpendicular to one another. And uh, in algebra, we call lines linear equations as well. And you can see the actual problem that we're going to be doing is the title of this uh, video. So we're going to um, look at a specific problem, but we're going to be talking obviously about uh, the properties of one line to another when two lines are perpendicular. So uh, what makes line per uh, what makes lines perpendicular? So you can see here, um, you know, we have two lines. I kind of sketched them out, you know, to form a uh, perpendicular angle. But right here, that little notation, a little square down there indicates that this is 90 degrees. So that's what perpendicular lines are. So one line intercepts another, uh, and if the angle formed is 90 degrees, like right there, uh, then those lines are perpendicular. So it's something that uh, you definitely need to know. And we're using this notation uh, just right here, but I'm just kind of, um, you know, there's a couple different ways I could have wrote this out, but I, I like to use this little notation just as a good little reminder of our practicing geometric notation. So here I can say this is line one and this is line two. So I can also indicate that these lines here are perpendicular by saying line one, this little symbol and upside down T uh, means uh, the relationship between these two lines is perpendicular. So just as a uh, aside, if um, those lines were parallel, I would use this notation. So. There's different ways to indicate that things are perpendicular and or parallel. So you kind of want to know all those notations. But um, we're going to look at the specific problem here, okay, to determine if one line is perpendicular to another. And, of course, this is the same uh, knowledge you're going to need to know if uh, you want to figure out uh, a line that's perpendicular to another line. So we're going to get to this in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And over several years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. Uh, you can check out my math help program by following the link in the description of this video. But basically, I have 100 plus different math courses. So I have all the main courses like pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, going to be launching pre-calculus here shortly. But I also do a lot in the area of test preparation. So if you're studying for a test like the SAT, ACT, GED, Alex, Accuplacer, CLEP, teacher certification, nursing entrance, ASVAB, uh, you know, there's a lot of people out there that are taking uh, significant exams in their life that if they don't pass these exams or do well in them, they're not going to be able to reach their goals. So, you know, I get that. And there's a lot of math on these uh, exams and not just basic math. Uh, it could be pretty advanced math and you don't want to, you know, take these exams without being fully prepared. So uh, you can go to my site and check out my full course catalog. Um, if I don't have the exam that you're preparing for, drop me a line and I'll help you out the best I can. I also work a lot with independent learners like homeschoolers. I got a great homeschool learning system. Then obviously I help those of you out there that are just struggling in mathematics. Okay. Now, one thing you need to be doing to help yourself, uh, and this is just over years and years, decades of teaching mathematics, is the following. Those students who take great math notes, you must take great math notes to do well. You just can't take shortcuts, okay? But those students who uh, put a lot of effort into the notes almost always do very well in terms of the grades, and the reverse is true. Those students are like, you know what, I like going to math class because all my friends are in uh, that class, and then, you know, I like to do my homework for the next class that's coming up. You know, as a teacher, you observe all these things. And of course, you know, uh, back in the good old days, in the 1980s, when I was in school, I made all those errors. And of course, uh, you know, if I had a cell phone uh, to boot, I don't even think I would graduate. I'd be completely distracted. So the thing is this. The only way you're not going to uh, be distracted is to be focused. you got to be engaged in an activity that's going to help you to stay focused, and that's note-taking. Just believe me when I tell you, don't try to cheat the system. you got to take great math notes to be successful in mathematics. But as you're improving, I offer detailed, comprehensive math notes so you can have something to study from. So those would include pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2, and trigonometry. You can find links to those notes in the description of this video. Okay, let's get into this problem, perpendicular lines. So already, you know, you should be f pretty familiar with some of the um, basic notation here, uh, or definitely the definition of what it means for two lines to be perpendicular. And here is our problem. So we have one line here, okay, or a linear equation, and we have another linear equation, okay? Now, in algebra, you know, something that, you know, we can plot a line on the XY graph we refer to 
as a linear equation or just a line. And oftentimes we like to write those lines in terms of y equals mx plus b form. So if you notice here, both of these linear equations or lines are not written in this particular form, but we're going to need to write um, these lines in this form because we're interested in this guy right here, okay, this M. So how many out there know what that M stands for? So if you're saying it stands for the slope, I would say very good. I would give you a little small happy face. Uh, I don't want to give you an A+. Plus. I will give you, matter of fact, let's just erase that. I'll give you a B, okay, because that was pretty easy. You know, I want to, you know, really have you earn your A pluses with me. You know, uh, if you can figure this problem out, then certainly you'll get, like, full credit. Anyways, let's just try to make this video a little entertaining at least. But we need to understand the slope, okay, of each line. So how do we uh, find the slope? Well, we're going to have to rewrite these equations in slope intercept form so we can know what the slope is. Now, let's suppose a slope of a line. As a matter of fact, let me just write this. These, uh, this, this is an example. It has nothing to do with the problems that we're going to do here. But let's say a slope of a line is 2 fifths x plus 1. Let's say I had this linear equation. Okay, now, of course, I could graph this line. But you can see that this line is written in y equals mx plus b form. And this is the slope. Okay, so the slope here of this line is to this. All right, now, there's a special relationship uh, for this line and a line that will be perpendicular to it. So let's say this line is this way. Any line that's gonna be perpendicular to it, and there's not just one line, you can have an infinite amount of lines that are uh, perpendicular to this line, but all these lines will have a special uh, uh, relationship with this slope. Okay, so the slope of this line any line that is perpendicular to this line here, its slope, okay, is going to be the following. Let me go ahead and erase this, all right? So we can really hone in on this uh, main concept because this is really the key here. So if this line has a slope of two fifths, a line that's perpendicular to it is going to have what we call the negative reciprocal of this number, okay? So here's our slope. What we're going to do is we're going to take the opposite of it. So this is a positive number. So we're going to make that negative, and we're going to flip it. We're going to flip the fraction. So in this case, it'll be negative 5 halves, okay? So that's what you need to know. If you have a line, okay, like this line here, any line that's perpendicular to it, its slope will be the negative reciprocal of the, uh, the slope of the line you're comparing it to. All right, let's go in and practice that. Let's say I have a slope of um, two-thirds. What would be um, the negative reciprocal of uh, two-thirds? All right, going to just practice this real quick. If you said negative three-halves, I would say very good. How about the slope? Uh, let's say our slope is negative one-fourth, okay? Well, if we're comparing, uh, if we're trying to find a line that's perpendicular to this, what will be the slope of a line, uh, if a, one line has a slope of negative one-fourth, a line that's perpendicular to it will have a slope of what? So it's the negative or the opposite. Okay, so th if this is negative, so the sign's gonna become positive, and you're gonna flip this one-fourth, so that's gonna be four over one, or just four, okay? So you need to understand the mechanics here, but if, you, if you're like with me on this, then excellent, okay? So what we wanna do in this particular problem, is we want to determine the slope of this line and the slope of this line and just kind of compare them. Do they have this negative uh, reciprocal relationship? If they do, then these lines would, uh, in fact, be perpendicular. Okay, so that's the main idea here. And if you think you can know how to do this, I would certainly uh, suggest you go ahead and pause the video and do it. That's the way to make the most use of my videos. But let's get to it. I already have the work here. Okay, so we want to write these lines in terms of uh, y, okay? We want to solve for y, and uh, I've done a lot of videos on uh, solving for a particular variable in an equation. You can uh, see those, uh, those particular uh, videos um, in my algebra and pre-algebra playlist, okay? So you really need to know how to do this. But here, I would want to just solve for y. So to solve for y, I want to get y by itself. I'm going to go ahead and divide everything by 2, okay? And when I do that... I'll get 2 divided by 2, which, of course, y is equal to uh, 3 halves x minus 6 divided by 2 is 3. Okay, so this is one line. 
Okay, I rewrote it so I can clearly see the slope. Okay, the slope is what? It's three halves. Okay, so that's the slope of that line. So we'll go in and make that comparison to see if these guys are perpendicular, but I can't do it uh, that yet until I get the slope of this line. So I need to solve for y over here as well. So here is a second linear equation. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract 2x from both sides of the equation, and I get negative 2x minus 6. I got 3y is equal to negative 2x minus 6. I could just put that term in front of here. Remember, I want to try to get that in y equals mx plus b format. So I need to get my x term first. Okay. Now, again, if you're struggling with the mechanics here, you need to go back and do some extra work on solving for particular variables, working with linear equations, et cetera, et cetera. But hopefully you're understanding. And at this point, I need to solve for y. So I'm dividing everything by 3. And then you could see here the result of doing that is going to be y equals negative 2 thirds x minus 2. So the slope of this line is negative 2 thirds. Okay. All right. So now let's uh, answer the question Are these lines perpendicular? So hopefully you would say, yes, it is. Okay. Because we're here, we have three halves and the negative is what's the negative reciprocal of three halves well it's going to be this is positive so it's going to be negative and i'm going to flip these uh numbers and in fact that's the situation that's the relationship between these two slopes so yes indeed these lines are perpendicular now if you knew how to solve this problem all on your own then i need to go ahead and give you a happy face with a mohawk and now you you really oh, mohawk not a mohawk mohawks but uh let's give you an a plus and a 100 percent and i'll give you two stars as this is a kind of medium grade problem not the hardest but you know uh not the maybe the easiest because uh this particular type of question it's not, you know, it doesn't always come up, okay? Uh, like two lines are perpendicular or parallel. So if you wanted to make the comparison of if two lines are parallel, the slopes will need to be the same, okay? But perpendicular, it's a negative reciprocal, and hopefully you remember how to uh, make that comparison. Now, there's other type of flavors of this, of this topic. I could be like, here is the equation of one line. So I could say this line here is this, and this point right here is, let's say, 3, 7. Find me the equation of a line, okay, that goes through this point, 3, 7, that's perpendicular to this line. So there's other, you know, um, uh, type of problems that are related to perpendicular lines. I'll get into those in future videos, but basically what we want to do is just establish a foundation of the relationship between two uh, linear equations that are indeed uh, perpendicular. Okay. So if you think this video helped you out in some way, please consider smashing that like button. That helps me. Uh, and uh, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for a long time. I have hundreds and hundreds of videos on my channel, all basic to advanced math. Uh, so if you like my teaching style, I do a ton of videos uh, every week um, on all kinds of various topics. But my best help will be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.